In this video, I'd like to talk about how to find the two variable inequality by looking at the graph. So notice that we have this dashed line and everything underneath the line is shaded. So with these two variable inequalities, what we want to do first is essentially figure out what the equation of the line would be, ignoring essentially that it's dashed and that we have the shading. So we find the equation of the line first, and then using the shading and whether it's dashed or solid, we can determine the inequality. So to find the equation of this line, we're going to use our slope intercept form, where m is our slope, b is our y-intercept. And notice it has a y-intercept of 0. So we know b is 0. And so we just need to figure out the slope. And we know these two distinct points here. So it looks like we go up 3 and then to the right 4. So our slope in this case, m, is up 3 and over 4 because it's always our rise divided by our run. And so if we plug these in, we have that y is 3 fourths x plus 0. Or we can just say y is equal to 3 fourths x. Now again, this is the equation of the line if this was a solid line and if we didn't have the shading. But since we do have the shading, we know this is an inequality. And with inequalities, you're going to see greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. And so we need to determine which case we have here. Now if it's a dashed line, we're looking at these two cases here. So if it's dashed, that means that the line itself is not included in the solution of the inequality. But if this line is solid, then we're dealing with this scenario, where it's greater than or equal to. And basically what that means is that the line itself, since we have this equal to here, is a part of the solution set. And if you shade below the line, we're dealing with less than or less than or equal to. So let me write that down. So if we shade below the line, then we're dealing with either less than or less than or equal to. But if we shade above the line, then we're dealing with either greater than or greater than or equal to. So now that we know what we're looking for, because we have a dashed line and we're shading below, we can transform what we know as the equation of the line into this inequality, which is essentially describing the graph. So let me just make a little bit more room. And so we are shading below the line. So that's this white scenario. And it's dashed. So we know it's not going to be less than or equal to. So we have this scenario right here. So we can write that we have y is less than 3 fourths x. So this right here will be the solution. Now, you could test this, but honestly, this one's a little bit hard to check. What you can do is pick random points in your solution set, maybe the ones close to the boundary to get a little bit more accuracy. And you can just test those. Plug in their x and y values and see if it makes sense. For instance, the point minus 1, minus 1. If you put negative 1 here, you get minus 3 fourths, and negative 1 would go here, but that's true. Negative 1 is less than minus 3 fourths. And like I mentioned, you can check it for as many points as you want until you feel comfortable that this is the right answer. So let's keep going on these. And the strategy will remain the same. We want to figure out the equation of the line. And this one's dash, so we know it's not going to be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And we're shading below the line, so we know it's going to be less than. So it can't have the equal sign because it's dashed, and it's under the line, so it's less than. So we are dealing with this scenario, that y is going to be less than whatever mx plus b is. So let's figure that out right now. So b, that's our y-intercept. It goes through at a y value of 3. And our slope, it looks like we go up 1 and over 4. So our slope would be 1 fourth. So we can write the inequality now, since we know it's less than. We know our slope is 1 fourth. That'll be multiplied by x, and then plus our y-intercept, which is 3. And 
this should be the answer. But again, if you want to double check this, just pick some random points along this boundary here and see if it makes sense. So we can keep going. It's good to get a lot of practice with these. So we want our y equals mx plus b first. And again, this is a dashed line and we're shading under the line. So it's going to be less than. And our slope, we can do that first. It looks like we go up 3 over 1. So 3 over 1 is our slope or just 3. And our y-intercept, it crosses the y-axis at negative 4. So we have that y is less than, since it's dashed, and we're shading below, 3x minus 4. So that should be the answer for this one. And let's do another one. So again, we have another dashed line. Now, recall, if it is solid, then in that case, it would just be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. You would just have that equal sign if the line was solid because that means the line itself is included in the solution. So we want our y equals mx plus b. Find the equation of the line first. And then it's shading above the line, so we have greater than. But it's dashed, so it's not going to be greater than or equal to. It'll just be greater than. Now to figure out our slope, we look at our two distinct points. We go up 1 over 2. So our slope is... 1 divided by 2, a rise of 1, a run of 2, and our y-intercept is just a y-value of 2. So we can write the inequality with that y is greater than, because it's shading above the line, and we don't have the equal sign because it's dashed. We have 1 half x plus 2. So this is the inequality for the given graph above. 